Hey! Um, so I apologize, it's been a little while since I've made a movie. I uh, have gotten a job and that is keeping me relatively busy, so then I forget about uh, beer, making videos um, at night and I just drink my beer. Please excuse the rabbit drinking in the background. Um, it'll go on forever and it's annoying, but um, I have a couple other things I need to do this evening, so I wanted to get this video out. Um, so this evening I'm going to be trying Lagunitas Nighttime. Um, I looked on their website and they said it was the, the counterpart to daytime, if you've seen daytime ale. Um, and it says that it's an ale and it does not specify the type of ale. And so we all know that there are a lot of different types of ales it could be. I went on to uh, Rate Beer and another one and it's been rated as a black IPA. Um, and I think that that's pretty well, pretty a pretty good guess. Um, although a couple of the pieces of details on here don't fit the American IPA category, so it, it, it because it's black and because it doesn't quite fit into that category, it probably could be rated as a specialty beer, so we'll keep that in mind as we do the tasting. Um, so uh, the original gravity for this is actually at 1.075, and the original gravity range for uh, an American IPA is between 0.0. Five, or excuse me, 1.056 and 1.075. So this is right at the top of that range. Uh, the bittering units uh, range for an IPA is between 40 and 70. This comes in at um, 74 IBUs. The alcohol by volume range for an American IPA is from 5.5 to 7.5 percent, and this comes in at 7.9 percent. Um, so it's definitely uh, outside of the range for all of the American IPA um, the standards, but we do, uh, like I've done several beers in the past, um, the, the specialty beer categories really don't account for all of the things that we're doing uh, these days uh, in beer. So um, we'll call it a black IPA for the sake of argument. It probably should be um, rated against the specialty category, but the base category would be... Um, IPA, so let's get in and give it a shot. Uh, Lagunitas really does a lot uh, of really great beers, uh, and I think that they've done, they've been really well known for their IPAs, so I think that we can expect good things out of this. Um, so, aroma. Definitely American hoppiness. We get that kind of intense hoppiness, um, piney, resiny, kind of florally, almost grapefruity um, sense out of this. Um, it's hard to get past that um, to get into what would be like the malt type aromas and the things that are supporting that just because it's so intense, but it definitely has um, some lower level uh, aroma to it, things that make it just juicy and sweet. Um, appearance wise, it's definitely dark. Um, it's on, on par with a stout or a porter. It looks black and, um, from your perspective, but I have a little bit of light coming through and it does have some brown tinge to it. So I think black IPA is probably a really good guess, even though Lagunitas doesn't even say that on their website. But um, that's kind of a thing right now. Black IPAs, a um, couple other beers that I've seen, I've seen uh, done black, but everybody's experimenting with what they can do with IPAs. Um, Flavor-wise, let's get into this. Now, I have to tell you, this is the last of the six-pack. Like, I actually did save this to do a video, although I intended to do it on the first one and not the last one, but we'll catch you up. Mmm. This is definitely an intense beer. Um, it says for the category that hop flavor is medium to high and should reflect American hop characteristics with citrusy, floral, resinous, um, uh, piney or fruity aspects um, with medium high to very high hot bitterness um, although there should be some malt backbone to support it uh, I think this beer really just drives either the far end of that range or just steps outside of it um, it's definitely intense um, it has some some like deep roasty um, burnt characteristic, multi characteristics, um, but that but the intensity of the malt really um, accelerates the intensity of the hops. Um, so it doesn't tone it down, I think. And um, I think that that is characteristic of what people are doing in IPAs these days, American IPAs specifically, um, where they're really trying to see um, how intense they can get this beer. So I think it falls um, into um, into into those style um, 
goals, I suppose it's a goal. Now, on a second drink, and I always find the second drinks a little bit um, different than the first one, I get a little bit more uh, um, of the malt support out of this. So it starts out like a very sweet beer, um, and then the finish and the aftertaste turn into the hoppiness. Uh, and I appreciate that um, because, for me, just because I don't like such intense um, hoppy beers, it it makes the drink more of a roller coaster ride. So it starts out really nice, and then it has like this finish to it that you kind of breathe out. You almost, and I don't want to say that I'm breathing fire with this one necessarily, but that's sometimes how I feel when I drink really intense IPAs. I feel like I'm drink I'm I'm um, breathing fire to kind of get off. Um, the intensity of the hops and so this kind of really bumps up against that kind of intensity uh, but it's good this is actually a pretty good beer um so I think that they've done a good job in offering a little bit of balance to that intensity um, but I don't think that this beer is made for um, people who shy away from hops who aren't particularly fond of IPAs things like that um, I get a little bit of an alcohol flavor out of it, like a little bit of warming, um, a little bit of dryness. Uh, as far as mouthfeel, it's actually incredibly smooth. Um, it has just like a crisp carbonation. I don't want to say that it's um, undercarbonated or overcarbonated in any one direction, but it's like this kind of um, crisp tingliness um, in the finish, which is actually really quite pleasant. And I think that it really complements the intense hopping. Um, so I like that about it a lot. Um, it does suggest for this particular style, and I'm doing the American IPA style um, in the BJCP style guidelines, um, that it's looking for um, moderate to medium high carbonation, oops, excuse me, no, with um, mouthfeel without hop derived astringency. Now, I think when they're really pushing the IBUs um, and the hop intensity, that, that that kind of style characteristic um, gets pushed out the window a little bit because it really does get into an astringency um, where it, it becomes a mouthfeel. Um, so there's a little bit of a dryness. Um, that's kind of where I'm, I'm feeling that carbonation too because there's a little bit of drying and then the carbonation like, not a sting, but just bubbliness. It's definitely fizzy. Um, and it's fizzy like in a gentle way, not like a high carbonation way, which is actually, like I had said, makes it a pretty enjoyable beer. Um, so overall impression of this particular beer, I think it's super intense. Um, it really capitalizes on uh, the American ca the American IPA category, st the style, but takes it a little bit further, um, which we can see because it pushes all of the boundaries of this particular style in the, um, in the original gravity, in the um, uh, alcohol by volume, in the IBUs, um, you know, so it's definitely a beer outside of the American IPA category um, and into the specialty category where we're getting into black IPAs or imperial IPAs and things like that. Um, so I always appreciate um, beers from Lagunitas even though I'm I, um, I'm not a big IPA fan I find that they do amazing jobs um, of creating beers that are just pretty incredible and if you're an IPA fan I think you'll really really enjoy this beer um, so I recommend it. Um, Let's see. Does that cover everything? And we've talked a lot, I know, about um, the history of American IPAs and things like that. So there's probably not any point necessarily to go into it. Um, the overall impression for this particular style I just want to share with you is, is, and I quote, a decidedly hoppy and bitter, moderately strong American pale ale. Um, so in that particular um, style category and description, this beer definitely nails it. Um, definitely hoppy. Um, and bitter and strong at 7.9% alcohol by volume, this beer is definitely no joke. Um, so hats off to Lagunitas for coming up with um, something that stretches the American IPA category. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, a new release of the BJ BJCP style guidelines that are going to incorporate um, either extend this category or incorporate new categories where we're going to see um, black IPAs or American uh, Imperial Imperial IPAs. I don't think that that's a category yet. Um, and um, 
and 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 have a way to to rate these beers because they're so common nowadays um, that they're that I think um, it would be nice to kind of compare them against each other. At this point, we're kind of throwing them into the specialty category, and they get lumped against a whole bunch of other things. Um, but uh, anyway, like I said, hats off to Lagunitas. Always an enjoyable drink. Um, and uh, if you've tried this beer particularly, let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.